Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, in, in, uh, on number theory, uh, is going to look at another simple proof. Uh, and this proof is concerned with the product of two even numbers. Uh, and that the property of the product of two even numbers is actually an even number. Okay, So to do this particular proof, uh, let's start off the proof. So the proof... Uh, and well, if I want to calculate the product of two even numbers, I need to have the two even numbers in the first place to to begin with. So let's assume that we have them. Okay, so let let a and b okay be two even even integers. Okay, that's important. Okay, and we're dealing with integers here. So let a and b be two even integers. Okay, so based off the division algorithm, what do we know about these two even integers? Okay, well we know that they can be represented of a, as a product of two numbers. Okay, uh, with a zero remainder. Okay, so therefore, what we know is that a must be equal to it's an even integer, so it must be equal to two times some other number m. Okay, where where m is an element of the integers, okay? And also what do we know? And we know that b must be also equal to two times some other number n where where n is an integer, okay? Because that's the definition of what it means to be even, okay? It means that when we divide that we can actually divide the number by two with zero remainder. That's a consequence of the division algorithm. Okay, so we now have our two even numbers. Okay, and uh, let's see what the product of these two numbers look like. Okay, so clearly, okay, we have that a times b must be equal to well, a is two n times b, which is two n. Okay, so a times b must be equal to two m times two n because actually these two, this is the representation of a and the representation of b uh, as as even numbers. Okay, and what does that give us? Well, uh, I suppose let's say in relation to the associative laws and removing the brackets, uh, this gives us uh, it's two times two times m times n. Okay. It's well. That's well, all we've done is we've just rearranged it. We've uh, commuted, okay, uh, and we've also applied the associative law, okay. So actually, what we have here is that a times b is equal to two m times two n, which is the same as two times two times m times n, okay, where where m and n are elements of the integers, okay. Uh, now, two times m times n, okay, two times m. 2 times mn is also an element of the integers, okay? So let that particular number equal p. So what we end up with is that this is equal to 2 times some number p, okay? Where p is the number 2mn. So what have we actually shown here? Well, what we've actually shown is that the product of two even numbers, yeah, is actually equal to the product of 2 times some other integer, okay? Which is precisely our definition of an even number. This number here is clearly divisible by 2, okay? Hence, the product AB must also be divisible by 2, okay? As this was deduced, this is a consequence of this particular product, okay? So, 2 times P is clearly divisible by 2, and therefore, AB is clearly divisible by 2. So, what we actually have here is this is clearly, clearly, 2 divides the product AB, and therefore, we have AB must be even okay and i suppose that's our little proof there okay so it's a basic arithmetic basic uh, basic algebra okay is allowing us to prove a a very important consequence of of integers in that when we multiply two even integers together okay when we multiply two even integers together what we end up with is an even integer Okay. okay, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was in some way uh, helpful and intuitive.